Hello everyone and welcome to another Now Train Tech video. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features, the improvements and the fixes in the new Windows 11 build 23440. So here are some changes and improvements. So in the start menu, you can quickly access the release notes for the Windows Insider preview build. Insiders can click the recommendation and start where it will open the blog post for the build 23440. So this is it here. So when I click on the start menu, it's here in the recommended section. It's so when you click on this release note, is going to open the blog post and it's going to explain what's new in build 23440. So you can also change this what is recommended in the settings. So to do that all you just need to do right click the desktop click on personalize and click on start and here is where you can change those options more recommendations default more pins so in the taskbar and system tray you can now hide the time and date in the system tray you can turn this on by right clicking the system tray clock and choosing adjust date and time so i'll just right click the clock i'll click on adjust date and time and here it says you can hide time and date in the system tray i'm going to turn this on and the time and date is hidden i'm going to turn it back on so another feature and improvement in the taskbar and system tray is that right clicking on the network icon in the system tray, they have added the option to diagnose the network problem. So I'm going to right click the network icon on the system tray and there's the option diagnose network problems so in the windows spotlight they have updated the icon that shows on the desktop for windows spotlight you can turn windows spotlight by right clicking on the desktop choosing personalize and then choosing the windows spotlight team so here's the windows spotlight icon i'll just right click the icon and i have these options here so there's some fixes in the taskbar and system tray. They fixed a few explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability. They updated the widgets invocation logic so that if you brush your mouse quickly across the widgets icon in the taskbar while traveling somewhere else, it should be less likely to accidentally open widgets. As a reminder, if you'd prefer that widgets doesn't launch on hover, there's an option for that in the widget setting. So under personalization, taskbar, you can disable the widgets icon. You can turn that off. You can turn it on. So there are some fixes in File Explorer. They fix the following issues for insiders previewing the Windows app SDK version of File Explorer. They fixed an issue where the context menu was open far away from where your mouse had right clicked sometimes. It's also fixed an issue which was causing some of the icons in File Explorer and the context menu to be blurry after DPI changes. They also fixed an issue where the new button in the command bar might not show anything in the drop down. And they also fixed the following issues for insiders with gallery in the file explorer the control plus mouse wheel scrolling should not resize the thumbnail and they also fix the following issues for insiders with recommended files in file explorer they also made some improvements to how narrator reads out the recommended files they also fixed the following issues for insiders with access keys in file explorer shift plus right click on a file or folder should open show more options again now they adjusted how narrator was reading out the access keys after pressing the menu key to make it clearer so in the search section they fixed an issue where the cursor wasn't displaying correctly in the search box when using an arabic display language they also fix an issue where the touch keyboard didn't correctly recognize a hardware keyboard was available in some cases so there's some fixes in a window in notifications also in live captions they fixed an issue that was causing live captions to crash on first launch due to an issue in packing registry data retrieval. They also added enhanced language recognition support in language and region settings. We'll now install the right file. So they also fixed adding enhanced language recognition support in language and region settings. We'll now install the right files on ARM64 devices. You will no longer need to restart live captions after switching between caption languages in from language and region set however you will need to uninstall any speech pack entries and settings apps installed app which were installed before the language and region settings fix and reinstall from language and region settings they fixed an issue in language and region settings that caused language feature installation progress to be hidden they fixed an issue causing live captions add a language menu icon and label to overlap 
So they fix some issues in the task manager. Double click in task manager's title bar to maximize the window. Should work again now. So they also fix the task bar manager crash, which was impacting insiders in the last couple of flights. So in the accessory section, they also fix some issues. They fixed an issue that was leaving voice access's window empty after opening. They fixed an issue where voice access was crashing when using the command to go to the start of a document. They also fixed an issue where narrators control plus narrator plus home and control plus narrator plus n commands to move to the beginning and end of the text weren't working correctly in Edge. So those are some of the features and fixes and improvements in this Windows build 23440. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.